So this is the golden boy which we have been adding about and it is our old channel and we're back. So uh I know that person who has always wanted to buy land here in Africa, especially especially I'm talking to people who want to come to Kenya. There are many things that you can do to buy land and today I'm here giving you nine steps in which you need to follow when buying a land here in Kenya. Welcome to this video. My name is Golden Boy. Why don't you proceed? Now, buying land in Kenya has always been uh, issues and default. Many people have always cried. Uh, maybe they bought land unintentionally. They never knew their land was for the. Uh, they never knew the real owner of the land. Maybe the land which he bought was a community land. Like for example, what is happening here in Athi River in Kenya. Right now there are a lot of demolitions of land. Uh, Kenyans can witness and now it is, in, it is a big news. So, kindly let's jump to the nine steps which you need to follow when you need to buy land here in Kenya. Step number one is uh, when you want to buy land here in Kenya, you go and ask to see the title deed or the copy of the title deed. For example, you have identified the seller. You have identified the seller of the land. You ask for the title deed or the copy. Then you don't just go and sit. You go and do a research on the you go to the Ministry of Land and you do a research or you confirm the real owners of the ID or if it has any caveat on it. Now, uh, I'm also giving the cost. The total cost, uh, it will cost you 520 shillings when you do that. Two, so you do a search with the local authorities to check of any unpaid land rates so when you identify this you you can either find that uh, the land the land rates or the land was not paid there have been issues here and there remember on doing this land can't be transferred if there are land rates so you'll agree with the seller okay that is step number two you agree who is going to pay these remaining land rate, these remaining land rates okay right. step number three uh, then you go to the lands to the ministry of lands and for this case you'll buy the mutation the mutation the mutation maps there are two maps which you'll buy you'll have the mutation map and the neighboring land. So, uh, in this case, the mutation map, this is the map that is showing the exact measurements of the price of the piece you are buying. So, it will also cost you 350 shillings. With your two maps, you can be a surveyor or you can hire a surveyor. This is the land yourself you are going to buy. Then you go and verify the details on the map. You can also check the beacons on the map. Okay. Now this is this is an important step. When identifying this, please why don't you find any drunkard local person there? Yeah. Ask about the land. Who is the real owner? After you you may be having this and that, but you can also ask this you can just check or interact with the community members. Sorry, you can interact with the community members and they'll tell you the land, the real owner of the land. So that is step number four, which uh, we are talking about. But now we are in step number five. Step number five involves bargaining. You bargain the land. You bargain with the seller, the price. Then you write the agreement with the present of the lawyer. Now in Kenya, in Kenya we have these rules, these 
are provided according to LCK, LSK, LSK, LSK. That's LSK. Uh, if if the land if the land is above one million shillings, you pay the lawyer three hundred eight thousand shillings. And if the land is below eight one million, you pay the lawyer three thousand. Avoid being conned by this fake or angry lawyers. That is number five, which you are in. Then, uh, in that case, you pay some amount. In that case, in that term of agreement with the president of the lawyer, you pay some amount. Even if you have a lot of money, you are in hurry. Don't pay full amount. Pay partial amounts. Pay some amount of money according to the, how you have agreed with the seller. Okay. Now, step number seven. Uh, you go after you have paid some amount to the seller. You go book a meeting with the land control board. That is LCB. They usually meet once in a year. Okay. This LCB are the people who will issue you the consent to buy the land or the seller to sell the land to you. Only after meeting with them and they give you guidelines. Pay the remaining balance after you have met with the LCB. By the way, they usually charge 1,000 shillings. They usually charge. 1000 shillings then you go to the seller you pay the remaining amount of money which you had agreed earlier then that's not it you go to the you go back to the ministry of land with your KRA pin and two passports and the title deeds then they change uh, they change the ownership. They change the, the ownership from the seller to you. That is including your name. They change your name, all the details. Now, um, that one will also cost you 5,000 shillings. Now, do you see it is just is nine steps. Just is. Now, to that person who is in, who is in, is in outside, outside Kenya, let me say that and you are you want to come in here yeah. imagine it will only cost you 9870 shillings if you are buying land below 1 million shillings below 1 million and it will also cost you 14807 14870 if you are buying land above 1 million shillings it is much interesting and this how they do it why you should not be in a hurry buying land and avoid fake people as I repeat you have to visit the Ministry of Land and you have to visit the LCBK LCB don't go to shortcut I, I mean shortcut usually cost okay that's it so I'm really really sorry to those people who their houses are right now being demolished uh, I, I have tried to do research on, on why their lands are being demolished but I, I do think that the reason why they are demolishing that land is because um, those houses is because uh, the land belongs to the government no? do you see? Do you see? so avoid being in that situation I've never been in that situation but I'm not also intending you to be in that situation where after buying land building a nice house then they come and demolish they come and take back their land because of some two three issues there thank you and have a nice time